So the Biden administration started doing all kinds of things almost immediately after Joe Biden was inaugurated in January. But the very first thing they did, the first big policy change they made and the one they've stuck to most assiduously has been to open our southern border, not simply to Latin America, but to the world. Now, why did they do that? Why is that the one thing they did immediately and have kept doing? Well, of course, because they want to change who lives in this country. And they're doing that to undermine democracy itself. When you change who votes, you change the outcome of elections. And they believe by opening the border, they can ensure permanent control of our political system by the Democratic Party for generations. That's not a conspiracy theory. They say it out loud all the time and attack you if you note it. Dick Durbin, who's a senator purportedly from Illinois, just said it out loud on the floor of the Senate a few days ago. Last week, the New York Times published an op-ed, and we're giving the title here directly, quote, there is no good reason you should have to be a citizen to vote. In other words, the millions coming in should be able to choose your government. The author of that piece argues that actually, non-citizens contribute just as much to this country as people who are born here, and they should be allowed to pick your government. That doesn't scare you, nothing will. Victor Davis Hansen is a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. He joins us tonight. Professor, thanks so much for coming on. So they scream at you if you repeat their own words back to them, but I think it's pretty clear, they're not even hiding it, that the whole point of their immigration policy is to ensure political control, replace the population, get a different outcome. Am I misreading this? No, you're not. And I think it was really important you stress the urgencies, just as we're seeing the efforts to destroy the Electoral College or pack the court or have a national voter law. They feel that the constituency of the present demography is not on their side, so they can't wait to right. legally have residents come with green cards and go through a lengthy process of citizenship because they don't think they're going to be in power uh, or they won't have this moment. So they want to have residents uh, immediately become equal to citizens. And they forget that citizens, they know that citizenship is the foundation of Western civilization, Tucker. We had a long period of settled civilization, but it was only 2,700 years ago when in, in the classical world people said, wait a minute, we are permanent fixed peoples. We have identifiable borders. We can make our own laws and elect our own officials and take governance in our own hands. We can't do that if we're migratory tribes or we don't have a settled space or we don't have shared and collective customs and traditions that develop from settlement. So when we look at people crossing the border, two million of them are scheduled in the next 12 months. We don't know who these people are, Tucker. We don't know if they speak their language, that we don't know if they share our values, that we don't even know if they've ever voted before. And the idea that the moment they come across, and that's the first decision they made was to break U.S. law, the second will be to reside here illegally, they would be co-equal to a citizen, defies the whole concept of, of civilization. And remember, citizenship's already eroded. It started out, it's mentioned several times in the Constitution as an assumption. You don't even have to define it. But it used to be the idea that a citizen could only elect, uh, hold elected office, could only vote, could only go in and out of the country uh, at his own permission and will, and could serve in the military and was subject to the laws of the United States. And now we see those are mostly eroded and we're down to just the only thing that separates a citizen from somebody crossing the border on day one uh, was that they, they could not hold office and they could not vote. And yet already people in some jurisdictions, school board elections in California are voting and there's talk about even people holding office. When that happens, then we're no different than Rome with people just in the late 5th century A.D., yeah. coming across the Roman borders, Huns, Vandals, Goths, with no difference in their status and Roman citizens, and you know what happened after that. Yeah, and this is being done intentionally, stealing our country from American citizens. It's exactly what this is, and we're yes. allowing it. Victor yeah, Davis Hanson, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank, Thank you. you.